here's an interesting twist of events. It looks like Windows may be porting sudo over from Linux as seen from the Windows latest.com. It looks like they provided a screenshot of a new feature called enable sudo, which enables the sudo command and you can turn it on inside of a window with an input disabled or in line. Notice it's toggled on at the moment and there have been quite a few places that have been reporting this as well, as well as an on a Microsoft blog where it seems it's been redacted. We're kind of in the unknown right now, but let's talk about this trend of Windows becoming more and more like Linux and taking features off from Linux open source. But let's talk about some of the reports that have been going out. According to ZDNet, Microsoft is bringing the power of sudo to Windows Server. Now, it makes a lot of sense that it would be on Windows Server. As we could tell in the previous screenshot, it is reported that this came from Windows Server 2025. But let's continue with this article where it says Microsoft is taking steps not only to make Windows Server 2025 more secure, but it's also easier to administer to do this. It's adding sudo to the mix. So why is Windows becoming more like Linux? And how does porting the sudo command into Windows support that theory? Well, the trend here of Windows becoming more like Linux has been going on for a while now. As a lot of us know, with the release of WSL and especially version 2, we've gotten a lot more Linux in Windows and it's for the best because a lot of people, especially in the server space, love to use Linux. And that's a direct competitor against Windows and its Windows server. But one costs you money and the other one can and will remain free. Let's talk about some more things, but I want to look at a couple more articles here because we get a few more pictures. Windows version of the Linux sudo command shows up in a preview build. Here's another great picture posted here, which shows us sudo being used to elevate the privileges of using Notepad. A little goofy there. Hopefully the user doesn't need elevated privileges to use a Notepad, but regardless, it's being used in the command prompt as shown above. And I would of course assume it's available in the PowerShell as well once you enable that command. This is from ARS Technica. And finally from Bleeping Computer, again, the source Windows latest, has shown testing sudo with, with Windows Server 2025. Microsoft released the first Windows Server 2025 Insider Preview build at last week. However, soon after, a newer version was leaked online. As first reported by Windows latest, first spotted by The Book is Closed, the leaked version contains some new in-development features, including new settings from Windows sudo command. Again, this is from not bleeping computer, but Windows latest. Here's what things look like again. We've seen many developments over the last couple of years, especially in integrating tools that are required for headless servers, such as SSH built in and integrated in both Windows 11, as well as some of the server additions. This was a definitely welcomed feature because previously you had to go into features from Windows in order to actually activate the SSH tools or the SSH server. Of course, you have to still activate the SSH server, but we see tools and utilities coming in like this, especially with things like sudo here to help elevate those privileges. While it's not new to be using Linux commands inside of Windows, there's plenty of emulators out there that allow you to do this, including things like Sigwin and msys2. These provide a cross-platform compatibility, so you can use things like bash commands and Linux commands inside of your Windows setup. Another great picture here from Windows latest. Here's what it looks like to actually enable the sudo command for Windows as dropped in this for developers preview. Enable sudo for Windows. Running the sudo command could expose your device and personal data to security risks or harm your device. Enable the sudo command, yes or no. Now it is a little goofy that they say running the sudo command could expose your device to personal data to security risks or harm your computer. That's just like saying, if you log into your computer as the admin user or the root user, they can do anything they want. I mean, of course that's the case. I don't think the command itself makes it any more vulnerable to these types of risks. But regardless, we really can't get away from the fact that Windows is becoming more and more like Linux nowadays. Let's talk about some of the reasons this is. Well, the trend of incorporating Linux features and commands into Windows, I would believe reflects a strategy by Microsoft to try and embrace open source into their Windows builds. And a main driving factor for this, I would assume, is to remain relevant, especially in the server space where billions of dollars are being thrown around, especially with AI now, that requires many powerful hardware architectures and operating systems to efficiently run them. And what better way to get that type of development, at least for free, than from open source. 
So first off, we got developer appeal. Linux is already popular among developers, and that's because of its command line tools, scripting, and support for varying languages all through the command line, making it super easy to install and run programs and programming tools, all with a one line command install with a package manager. This is particularly important for things like web development, cloud computing, where Linux just dominates. So I can definitely see why Windows wants to port things over, such as a sudo command to help people run elevated commands. With the rise of cross-platform compatibility, such as things with cloud computing, many web servers and just servers in general run on Linux. So cloud on Linux is important here because it dominates this sphere as well. Having compatibility on Windows allows developers to build and test, deploy applications across platforms more easily. So it reduces the friction of going between a dev platform to the cloud, which of course is important to Microsoft and Windows. And really the next thing that Microsoft introduced to Windows natively in Windows 10 was the WSL or the Windows subsystem for Linux, allowing users to run a full distro in the background through virtualization really was a clear indication that Windows was embracing and incorporating Linux into its system. I think they realized how much easier this makes it for developers, including managing permissions, executing commands, and keeping Linux directly on Windows prevents people from leaving Windows. And of course, embracing open source, at least that's what they call it, Microsoft has shifted towards trying to contribute to the Linux open source. Now, how much they've done without self-serving themselves can definitely be argued, but we can talk about the, how this approach has allowed Microsoft to contribute, but more take from open source. We're still not sure if this pseudo command is actually a port from the pseudo project or if it's some piece together thing that, that Microsoft took and tried quote unquote making it its own. This is still unclear, but seems to be a tactic. Where programs and dev make sense for Windows, well, Windows takes, no matter what part of open source it is, which helps Microsoft leverage the innovation and rapid development cycles that are common across open source projects. They let a people do the bulk of the work and then they can port things over for themselves where convenient. Anyways, this is of course a strategic business tactic and probably the most important is how Windows directly benefits by making it more compatible with Linux because this helps Microsoft serve a, a wider range of customers, especially when it comes to the enterprise and cloud domains because they make a lot of money off of it. Think Microsoft Azure. Their cloud platform that directly benefits by giving Windows compatibility with Linux. It helps Microsoft provide a cohesive and flexible ecosystem for these Linux ran cloud and hybrid environments. No company is trying to fall behind, especially when it comes to enterprise and production environments where all the money is made. That's why in summary, adopting Linux and Linux features, such as the pseudo elevated privileges command, Microsoft is trying to make Windows more versatile and dev friendly and production ready. As the entire industry moves towards open source software and cloud computing, Windows doesn't want to fall behind. Not only does this benefit its Windows users and developers, but it keeps Microsoft more flexible, especially when it comes to the rapid development cycle of the open source community, which they have to keep up with. And now making Windows like Linux makes more and more sense. I'm sure we'll be seeing more developments on this. I'll keep you posted. Make sure to subscribe below and like the video and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.